Okay, this is the 10th and final step to enlightenment that I edited from the Zen ox herding pictures, the path to enlightenment regarding one, for example, you, who reaches enlightenment by Zen Show Kap. He is the fully awakened one, the liberated one, independent of everything, the one who has liberated himself from all distinction between nirvana and the everyday world. For him, profane and sacred have become entirely one, for he now lives his life as the reality of the one mind. How can it be possible that suddenly the ordinary things of daily life are divine reality? How can the ordinary suddenly be the exceptional and all of a sudden pebble stones at the wayside become shining jewels? Yet the splendor of divine being is no unreachable, far off, transcendental dimension, for it is now, here, right there where you currently are. The truth of Zen reveals itself this instant, right here. Immerse yourself completely in this instant. This, the direct Zen way of instantaneously grasping reality, just as it is. All the time, you experience nothing other than the world that matches your state of consciousness. For the world you experience is a reflection of your own projections. You create your own world. You experience the dualistic world of grasping and rejecting. Then you live in a world of greed, hatred, and blindness, and you are trapped in your own projections. Zen master Huang Po describes the situation with the following words, quote, the pure mind, the source of everything, shines forever and on all with brilliance of its own perfection. But the people of the world do not awake to it, regarding only that which sees, hears, feels, and knows as mind. Blinded by their own sight, hearing, feeling, and knowing, they do not perceive the spiritual brilliance of the source of substance. If they would finally throw off all conceptual thought in a flash, this source substance would manifest itself like the sun ascending through the void and illuminating the whole universe without hindrance or bounds, end quote. The enlightened one has risen above any attachment to all of the patriarchs, to Buddha and all other enlightened beings. So why should he, or perhaps you, then follow their footprints? As the veritable enlightened one and thus perfectly liberated one, he himself has become a Buddha and goes his own way, independent of everything. Since he has risen above all discrimination between the profane external world and mystical introspection, everything has now become perfectly one for him. As the perfectly liberated one, he abides in absolute oneness with what is beyond the world and is in harmonic unison with the requirements of the temporal world. His awakened mind is completely free and he lives tot totally independently and comes and goes as he pleases. He does this and that, but can equally leave it and do something completely different. He traverses the world of phenomenon in utter freedom. In his realized consciousness of non-discriminated discriminated clarity, he makes no distinction between sacred and profane and thus a temple and a wine bar are equivalent for him. Wherever he may be, he abides in the boundless, all-fulfilling fullness of divine being. The dark clouds of your spiritual blindness vanish in this great liberation from the chains of your self-created limitations. The mind radiates like the clear sky in boundless vastness and voidness, and nothing is able to darken it any longer. Even when clouds cover the glowing moon, the moon is always there just like the brightly radiating self-mind. The reality of our original true essence lies within ourselves. There's nothing to reach and nothing to be changed. Our true self is already absolutely consummate and has always been so. The reality of our original true essence lies within ourselves. There's nothing to reach and nothing to be changed. Our true self is already absolutely consummate and has always been so.